found Julie unconscious, completely unresponsive. Paramedics arrived minutes later and rushed her to the hospital. She was in a coma. That was pretty serious. And that the doctors were telling us we needed to get there quickly because they really weren't sure how bad this was. At first, doctors thought Julie had suffered a massive stroke, but it was even worse. MRI tests and the CAT scans and things like that were showing basically a flat line, which meant that she was pregnant, and we couldn't understand. Doctors told Julie's three grown daughters she probably wouldn't survive. Her heart was fine, her liver was fine, her kidneys were fine, and she could basically go on like this for who knows how long, but she was never going to wake up. The hospital asked police to check on Transamerica's water supply. When I went to the break room, there was an obvious odor uh, that I could smell. To toxicologists, this meant only one thing, cyanide. People say those who can smell it, and it is genetically controlled, that it smells like bitter almonds. Uh, about 40% of the population can't smell it. As a precaution, everything inside the water cooler room was sent Herself, the coffee creamer, you know, and just everything in there, there appeared to be a crystalline, crystalline substance in all of it. Investigators tested the substance with a chemical strip, and it turned blue. So what you're producing is Prussian blue, which is one of the forms of cyanide. A gas chromatograph test confirmed the findings. Scientists also found a massive amount of cyanide in the office coffee pot. Well, five grams of pure cyanide, given as it, as it is in total, is enough to kill probably about 25 people. The water cooler alone had 32 grams of pure cyanide, enough to kill 150 people. But who wanted to kill the employees of Transamerica Titan?